everlasting love. One fine day, an old couple around the age of 70 walks into a lawyer's office. Apparently, they are there to file a divorce. Lawyer was very puzzled after having a chat with them. He got their story. This couple had been quarreling all their 40 over years of marriage. Nothing ever seems to go right. They hang on because of their children, afraid that it might affect their upbringing. Now all their children have already grown up, have their own family. There is nothing else the old couple have to worry about. All they wanted is to lead their own life free from all these years of unhappiness from their marriage. So both agree on a divorce. Lawyer was having a hard time trying to get the paper done. Because he felt that after 40 years of marriage at the age of 70, he couldn't understand why the old couple would still want a divorce. While they were signing the paper, the wife told the husband, I really love you, but I really can't carry on anymore. I'm sorry, it's okay, I understand, said the husband. Looking at this, the lawyer suggested a dinner together. Just three of them. Wife thought, why not, since they are still gonna be friends. At the dining table, there was a silence of awkwardness. The first dish was roasted chicken. Immediately, the old man took the drumstick for the old lady. Take this, it's your favorite. Looking at this, the lawyer thought, maybe there's still a chance. But the wife was frowning when she answered. This is always the problem. You always think so highly of yourself. Never thought about I, how I feel. Don't you know that I hate drumstick? Little did she know that, over the years, the husband have been trying all ways to please her. Little did she know that drumstick was the husband's favorite. Little did he know that she never thought he understand at all. Little did he know that she hates Domstick, even though all he wants is the best of her. That night, both of them couldn't sleep. Toss and turn, toss and turn. After hours, the old man couldn't take it anymore. He knows that he still love her and he can't carry on life without her. He wants her back. He wants to tell her he is sorry. He wanted to tell her. I love you. He picked up the phone, starting dialing her number. Ringing never stopped. He never stopped dialing. On the other hand, she was sad. She couldn't understand how come after all these years. He still doesn't understand her at all. She loves him a lot, but she just can't take it anymore. Phone's ringing. She refused to answer knowing that it's him. What's the point of talking now? That is over. I have asked for it and now I want to keep it this way. If not, I will lose face, she thought. Still ringing. She had decided to pull out the cord. Little did she remember. He has a heart attack problem. The next day, she received news that he had passed away. She rushed down to his apartment, saw his body lying on the couch still, holding on to the phone. He had a heart attack when he was still trying to get through her phone line. As sad as she could be, she will have to clear his belongings. When she was looking through the drawers, she saw this insurance policy dated from the day they got married, with the beneficiary being her, and together in those files, there was a little note. To my dearest wife, by the time you are reading this, I am sure I am no longer around. I bought this policy for you, though the amount is only $100K. I hope it will be able to help me continue my promise that I have made when we got married. I might not be around anymore. I want this amount of money to continue taking care of you. 
just like the way. I will if I could have lived longer. I want you to know that I will always be around by your side. I love you. Tears flowed like river. When you love someone, let him know. You never know what will happen the next time. Next minute. Learn to build a life together. Learn to love each other for who they are, not what they are.